Hello, my name is Chechiku. So what is high life music? Well, we know from the history that it is a style of music that evolved in Ghana and in West Africa with influences both from within Ghana and West Africa and influences from the Caribbean, Latin America. And these influences were already elements that were taken to Latin America, America and the Caribbean through the transatlantic slave trade. These influences also came back again to re-affect and infect the style of music that the natives had in Ghana and West Africa. Over the years, a good high life tune has come to be known as one that has got a combination of these elements or influences. Influences from Ghana be it like native rhythms, sang in a native language, a mix of like English or pidgin, and then employing like harmonies that are, you know, really basic. The one, four and five chords or the one and two chords or something like that. And oftentimes of also influences and the elements from across the Atlantic. So from jazz, early jazz swing, um, from Calypso or from Afro-Cuban music and sometimes even Latin American music like salsa and stuff like that. And all of these elements mixed together in just the right amounts to create um, specific high life tunes. But that is not also to say that they are not like typical like native style. Like a style like Sichi high life is really uh, Akan style, Ashanti, you know. Um, and so... One of my favorite High Life songs happens to be Kofin Krabia, which is a song uh, composed by Nanampedu of the African Brothers fame. And Nanampedu, for me, is that musician that occupies a very central position in, 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 in terms of the evolution of Ghanaian music. Because he is a musician that cuts across a wide spectrum. He he obviously saw the dance band style of high life music, which is, was a reflection a bit of big big band and swing style music of America. And you have bands like uh, E.T. Mensa in the Temples, Stargazers, Broadway band, which later became Uhuru band, and which were all like you know saxophone horns, a bit like jazzy. Uh, Jerry Rumblers and the and Jerry Hansen and the Rumblers band. Nanampedu sort of grew from this and he he wrote songs for some of the these bands uh is known to have been written for the rumblers um by nanampedu so he he comes from that background he knows that music as well and then he also connects and also defined the guitar band style of high life music which was really for the folks working class people uh roots and which often often went with a concert party. And so that style also went on to develop into, you know, that kind of storytelling style of high life and very danceable, energetic style of high life, which has also evolved to what we can hear uh, today based on a lot of, like, lyricism and, you know, poetry and storytelling. In Kofin Krabia, Nanampedu takes a very classic Afro-Cuban riff and then he goes on it becomes like Stuff like that. So, using this uh, classic Afro-Cuban riff, then he he puts around that. Well, I should say they because it was with the with the African Brothers band, but obviously led by Nanampedu, and he puts very laid back rhythm on on percussion, a very groovy bass line. Uh, and, and then the, the song progresses lyrically. Nanampedu employs very beautiful poetry. He he recounts a story, and the morale of this story is basically 
charity begins at home. But Nanampedu, being a classic storyteller, does not just say charity begins at home. Okay. So he says of a, a boy and his mom who 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 tried to go around trying to understand their destiny because the mom was a bit concerned about the development of the boy in, in his life. And um, so they went around, uh, they went about traveling to to very far off lands and mysterious places. And in the end, they they are told no, go back home and really investigate from home because uh, whatever is happening could be the roots could be from the home, and thereby placing the home as a very important uh, uh, place in the development of of, of the child. Charity begins at home. But what is striking about the way that Pedu sings and recounts this story is the fact that as they travel to different places, Nanam Pedu uses this kind of device to to explain the, 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 the places, very short but effective, uh, and uses um, um, rhyme and alliteration and specific devices to create this places that are quite mysterious that you feel like when you go that is where you find the answers to your 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 concerns and in the song he says uh, in the beginning they went to Impiti and then they went to Impata then they went to Pitripi and they went went to Patrapa and they went to, they went to you know Bompiti you know <laughs> he the way, but the way he he recounts the name and they flow one after the other, and the way that they rhyme and the way they alliterate is very, is very you know riveting. And Nanampedu is is good at that. And with this, he creates this beautiful story of of the journey and trying to find the answers. So, yeah, Kofin Krabia for me, it's probably one of my favorite high life high life pieces. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is Yamwes Sewa Akoto sung by Ejeku and Smarting Kansa. Oh, 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 oh,